Hi, Ron Gagliardi here for Rendezvous. You may recall from our previous weeks that we are currently in the middle of the St. Martin experience where a group of people from Cheshire and Wallingford, uh, sponsored by the Christ Community Church of Cheshire, went down to St. Martin and did some teaching and missionary work. And today I'm not going to tell you too much about what the show is because sometimes I say things are going to be on and they're not. But I will tell you that you are going to see some of the teaching that went on and some of the responses from the children. And beyond that, we'll just let it be a surprise. Thanks for tuning in and hope you enjoy. Both of us are practicing fine artists from the United States. We make a living at it and we want to share it. I've been earning my living as an artist, as a commercial artist, which is a little bit different than Claudia has. So I was in a slightly different vein. And I, I have, a, a, I think, a pretty good eye for professionalism. And any of you who are interested in perhaps being an artist and you want to get into a school somewhere, you have to have artwork that you can present to administrations. I think some of that money belongs in your pocket. And if you can do some caricatures, like when they get off the boat or when they're sparkling or something, you can charge them a dollar, two dollars, five dollars for those caricatures. And if you get pretty good at it, you can do this for the rest of your life, and you can have lots of money in your bank account. So I urge you to come to my class and tell your friends to be there too, because they would like to have all this money in their pocket. How many of you don't have any friends? So what do you have to be to be a friend? He's going to be in our class, okay? This is really good. We've got a lot of people. These are tough questions. What do you, what's your favorite friend like? What do you like best about your best friend? He's going to be in our class. This is tremendous. Joel, All these the main ingredient for friendship. The main ingredient for friendship? Deodorant. Deodorant. <laughs> Find a buddy. Pair up. We're here with the man of Balloonja. Some rhythm chants. We're also going to do some singing. 
depending on what we find out that you guys already know about reading music, we may do some reading music. Uh, so it's going to be a wide variety of different things in there. So let's kind of see what you're interested in. This is Adam, Adam Freeze. Do you want to say anything about your drum class? Absolutely, the drum class. I don't know anything to say about it. Beats me. We don't have no drums today, but. Beats you. A little Larson five. Yeah, we're going to use the rotor times today to get by, but tomorrow we'll have the drums. Okay. The other, the other main attraction class for this program is the art class. And the people who sign up for the art will be going with Claudia and Ellie right here. And those people who do that will be immediately after this program ends, you'll be going to your art classes and you'll be there for the duration of the day until 1130. A landscape or a person. You're going to find these basic shapes in everything. Now, we're talking right now about line drawing. And line drawing is really the only the outline part. We can still get a dimension, we can still get a perspective in the line drawing if we have this perspective. You know, if we look at the outside lines, we find out how they're changing. We can also get a perspective by shadowing. Now, if I were to shadow the outer edge of my circle, and I can do it in many different ways. People handle their pencil drawings in lots of different ways. You can handle it by shading it in with your finger. Got to be careful you don't have a lot of crease on it. You can then go over and cross hatch. Now, in, in, in using your pencil, you can take an area, let's say, of the square, and you've got light coming in this direction. If the light is hitting this part of my square, this part of my square is not getting hit. So I could shade this in with just lines if I want. Doesn't matter even what direction I use them. But I shaded it. I didn't have to go in and go like this. I didn't have to cross hatch or use my finger. That shattered it. These are only techniques. One is not right, one is not wrong. It doesn't matter what way you do it. But you need to know the difference. As I go to the bottom, this might be even darker. So I might take and cross hatch that, and then cross hatch it again. Once I do it the second time, look what happens. It becomes darker. Instead of trying to go and making it darker this way. But that's not wrong either. If I wanted to make this darker on the bottom, I could do it this way. I could take my sides and do it the same way. Now when I'm working at an angle like this, it's not as good as looking straight forward. And see how I'm holding the pencil? I'm not, I'm not grasping up on it. This will loosen you up. If you can hold it looser, it'll loosen you up in your drawing as well. Now here's where this can be a benefit to you. If you are doing a street situation, like you want to sell someone something at a tourist place where maybe the boats come in, if you take a person's name, you can turn their name into a series of cartoon characters. So let's say, for example, we'll take the name Pat. You ask the person their name, or you can have some of these already made up, because there's a lot of people in the world named Pat. And you can take these letters and turn them into things. Now let me ask you, what do you think this letter P could become? R. R. No, a P. Yeah, and besides a letter, what kind of character? A dog. Could be a dog, okay. Let's see here, we'll make it a dog with two ears, and we'll put it with a little tail like that, and things like that. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So that could be a dog or a rabbit, depending on how the ears are going. Ah, what, what, what letter do you have to tell me? I. I know what the letter is. Okay, let's see. What does that I look like? What's the line now? All right, now you say you're coming with an E. I feel like I'm going in a different direction. This is like
a roller coaster. This island doesn't need a roller coaster. Yeah, what happened to the air conditioning back here? See a step. Of course, but I knew that that step was there. Fallen, but you can't get I have ESP. You remember? I, I knew the step was there. Yes. I'm a stepchild. I know. I know. Well, next time I'll pick them for you. Okay. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. You always see me with a camera in front of my face. <laughs> Come on, all night, just for well, a few moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just dim it, dim it down. You're blind if you think. Oh, right. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we Well, I suppose you're all wondering why I gathered you here this evening. Oh, no. So Why did the pastor cross the road? There wasn't any cars. Down. Oh, all right, that's a good answer. <laughs> Are they taking a break now? Yeah, well, they're still going. I got a minute. Hi, can I help you? Sure, I'd like to buy the store. Oh, no problem. Go right ahead.
about the shy weaver who was always looming in the background? That's a little warped. No, it's But that's all I had left. Or woof. should mention. What? The saleability of these items. Saleability. Yes, people can make money selling right. to tourists. You know yeah. it. No, I'll, I'll, He's a tourist. I'll say that to sell it to you. What? Sell it to you. Sell it to me. Yeah. Five, no. five bucks more for one. This is fine. Okay. Now, you're not going to be sitting where you're sitting. Because the friend you picked and where they taped it, you'll sit over there and, make, and start making their bracelet for them. Yeah, so you got to sit okay. there for it. Now, did you guys get all your partners and everything? Yeah. You're all set with that. All right. Do you trust me to partner? Yeah. Here you go. Hey, Kim, let's have dueling camcorders. Hey, Jewel. Ooh, wow. <laughs> High noon at five paces. <laughs> so weird. Back to back. Three, four, five. <laughs> oh, well, they got caught in crossfire. <laughs> Fleming. Okay, Reginald Fleming. Next person. Hi, I'm Mario York. Mario York. Hello, I'm Runako. Runako, who left his last name at home. Hi, I'm the Mali Bison. I'm Sinfra Zanda. Thank you very much. I'm Tamika. Where are you from? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Joe. Joe? Oh, I thought you said you said gel yesterday. Gel. You just said gel now, but I couldn't hear you because my camera was blocking my other ear. Knock, knock, Regina. Um, um hi, my name is Regina Martino. And then. Hi, my name is Dr. Some of my friends call me D Nice. Peace, my name is Gary. Yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. Bye. Hi, my name is Noreen. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jules. Hi, my name is Shirley. Hi, Ron. My name is Sharon. All right. Panel of experts. Hi. Hard working. Hello. How's the sun today? Uh, I'm going to have soon. Gonna find out. We are soon going to find out. Today's Jeopardy question is... <laughs> yes, I know the answer. How many times can Ron break out his video camera? <laughs> Which came first, the chicken or the egg? I found that that's out. That's the answer. You, you must have like Eric, that's the five hour Where tapes for one day. Oh, of course. That was good, John. Honestly. Where, Which came first, the chicken or the egg? That's the answer. Hi, Ron Gagliardi here for Ron Debut. I'm relaxing on the porch of the family of Mr. and Mrs. Rupert Maynard on the island of St. Martin, in the Netherland Antilles, in the Caribbean Sea. I'm here on a little odyssey that I'll probably tell you about later. Or maybe I already told you about it. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, I thought it might be nice for you to meet some of the people that I've been staying with and working with while on the trip to the island. So I hope you enjoy the upcoming interviews. Please stay tuned. Okay, I'm here with Mrs. Maynard. You know, I never really heard your first name. What is your first name? Ruth. My name is Ruth. Ruth. Okay, now we're in Ruth's kitchen here, and Ruth is preparing an interesting fish, which happens to be soaking in this pan here. I guess it's its last official act of swimming. This is called an old white fish. 
Tell us the whole story of the old white fish. Well, um, this fish don't have scales like normal fish. It's, it has a sandy, um, a rough skin. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, like a shark. Sand, huh? Like a shark skin. Like a shark skin, yeah. yeah. But it's very rough and it could cut if it has scratched, if it, um, if it gets too close to your skin. Yeah. Well, to, normally, um, you use a sharp knife to Oops, get gosh, under yeah. the skin, lift it a bit, and then you hold it like this and you tear off the skin on hmm. both sides. Then you cut it to get up the gill. Um, there are not many bones in this fish, and um, it makes a very good soup. All right. Is that tonight's supper, or is that just part yeah. of tonight's supper? That's what I'm going to do tonight. All right. Now, what do you do on the island? Do you work with your husband's business? Yes, I do. I work in the office. Well, I more or less do everything. Uh-huh. I can, in fact. I could work in the market, work in, as a secretary, work in the airline office, about everything. He has kind of a, a far-flung empire. He's got a lot of business. Oh, no, I wouldn't say it's an empire. It's getting there. <laughs> I was no, down I there this afternoon. At all. <laughs> it's a lot of work, really. Uh huh. And um, the supervision, you know, quite a few people we have employed, and you know, in different sections, it's a bit difficult eh, having to, you know, supervise all these people, really. Mm -hmm. You okay. see, um, our problem is. We have them in different sections, and that makes it a little bit difficult. Right. Otherwise, I think we do reasonably well. Not as we would like to, but reasonably well. Well, a few people do is exactly how they want to, but it looks like you're doing pretty good. I certainly enjoyed my stay at your house. Let's talk about your family a little bit. Who are the members of your family? Well, my husband's name is Rupert. I have, um, I have two daughters and two sons. The oldest one is 30. The oldest girl is 30. The, the oldest son is 23. The youngest son is 20. And my youngest child is 13. And their names? Ruth. Their names are Evangeline, Donald, Alex, and Vanya. And what's it like being a resident of St. Martin? Well, you've been to a lot of different parts of the world. Not world, really. Went to a few places. Went to the States, went to Canada, went to Holland, went to England, went to Belgium, and a few of the islands around. And how do they compare to St. Martin? Well, each place is different. You know, in the other islands, you know, you have more vegetation. And um, the climate is a little bit different, although well, all of us are in the tropical area. Mm -hmm. Here is pretty hot. And um, at this time of year, when we don't have much rain as yet, the weather is pretty hot. Hmm. I was talking to Donald, and he said that he's been to a lot of spots, but he would never trade St. Martin for any place. Do you feel the same way? Well, home is home, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> they say home is where the heart lies, so with all its imperfections, you wouldn't trade it still. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they recently had a change in government here? Yeah. Got in a new government this morning yesterday, and we are hoping for the better. And everybody has high hopes? High hopes for the better. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. We mentioned Vanya before, and here she is. How old are you, Vanya? <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. What's it like to be a teenager on St. Martin? She doesn't want it. Nice. What do you do? All sorts of things. What's your favorite thing? Dancing. Do you actually take lessons, or do you go someplace to dance? Is it like ballet dancing, or modern dancing, or what? Jazz and ethnic dancing. And do you perform any place or you just do it for fun? Perform twice. 
And do you go to school still? Yeah. What grade? I was in the first, I went over to the second. And in high school. In high school? Yeah. And what's your favorite subject? Mm -hmm. English. No. Because they're drawing. Drawing? Yeah. So you're heavily into art? Not much. It's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It's my understanding that the children and students on this island have to learn like three or two languages? Two? two? Dutch and English. And they're taught ever since like where you were in first in school? Both yeah. at the same time? You know, like one period of Dutch and then another period of no. English? No? You learn, the whole year is Dutch, but yeah. you get English as a subject. Oh, I see. So you're pretty fluent in English. You speak it very well. Yeah. And everybody on the island speaks at least two languages. Yeah, two or more. That's amazing. In America, we're lazy. We, we speak one language, and some of us like to learn a few others, and some don't. I guess that's part of the fact that most of the world speaks English. Yeah. We can afford to be a little lazy. So how do you feel about being on television here? You like that? No. <laughs> you don't seem nervous. You seem pretty relaxed. Have you been on videotape or television before? Yeah. So it's old hat for you. No, no problem. No. <laughs> All right. We're gonna take a little tour. This is the kitchen area. And this is the TV where I was watching CNN News and learned about the state of Connecticut uh, closing down the offices because they didn't have any budget yet. By the way, this is July 3rd, 1991. Here's some folks you met previously. <laughs> you think this is funny, eh? Where do you see it? Here's the living room. This is the guest room where I've been sleeping. Naturally, I keep my bed unmade. Put a little light on here. I've been sharing this with Donald, who's home from college. And of course, I have to do my annual Alfred Hitchcock appearance. There she is! 